gorgeous, witty, respected member of society, person of physician to the first family, doting mother, a woman with a golden heart for service, for humanity. I never tell my mother. I never tell a soul. I make myself small. I disappear. I make myself unattractive, daring never ever to draw attention to myself again. The unspoken. You would think that at 12 years old, that was my first introduction to violation or to gender-based violence. Unfortunately, not. But there were two nights I will never forget. This night, we woke up to the sound of banana trees crashing down, crashing, like forever, falling and falling and falling. They had come. The second night, the worst night of my entire life, they came at night, drumming, pots and pans, yelling, burn the house, burn the house, burn the witch, burn the witch, throwing rocks onto a mabati roof, banging doors, banging windows, burn the witch, burn the witch, burn the house, burn, kill her. Grandma and Mary grabbed me from the bed, shoved me onto the darkest corner of our little room, and she knelt behind me with her entire body pushing me into that corner. And she started reciting, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. My little six-year-old heart felt something it had never felt before, a pain, a sharp pain, an ache, an ache that carved around my little heart. Pain, hatred, anger. And I carried that into my early adulthood. I carried it with me. I know my past, I recognize it. My culture, my traditions, they have shaped my experiences and who I am. But I also know that ultimately, ultimately, it is up to me to decide who I become. I started questioning status quo. I started questioning traditions, cultures. The African woman rising takes two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. Why? We are carrying so much unspoken baggage from our past. It's very difficult to rise. We need to offload the baggage we are carrying. And we can help one another. Dada for dada. Be the ear for another dada. Be the shoulder. Be the safe space. Be the confident for another woman to share her own unspoken so that we travel light. Let us create a sisterhood, a sisterhood around yourself of support, of encouragement, of uplifting one another, and then watch the African woman rise. I must confess that I have not been completely authentic with you in my sharing. My drunken uncle, he never came back to me physically, only in my nightmares. But later on in life, unfortunately, I learned he had gotten to my baby sister. She was only 10 years old. I wish 
I had spoken. Speak your unspoken. Thank you.